Hello there, friends. It's Ashley here from the Loopy Lamb and the LoopyLamb.com. And thanks so much for stopping by the channel today. For today's tutorial, I want to show you how to do the standing double crochet. This is an excellent technique to have in your toolbox as it joins a new yarn or even a new color to your project and eliminates the need for a slip stitch as well as a turning chain, making it a less bulky join and a really clean appearance to your project. So to follow along with today's tutorial, you're going to need your crochet project or a swatch or something that you can join your new yarn to in order to practice. I am using this uh, King Cole Acorn Aran yarn in order to join to my swatch. So this will be my new yarn. And then you're going to need a crochet hook in the proper size for your yarn or whatever is called for in your crochet pattern. I'm using this H or five millimeter uh, Borealis Streamline hook from Furls Crochet. So let's clear this away and get started learning how to do the standing double crochet. To start the standing half double crochet, you're going to need to have, start with a slip knot you, in the yarn that you're planning to join to your project. So I'm using this King Cole Acorn Aran yarn here to join to my swatch that I have prepared. So to start with your slip knot, you're going to have the tail end of your yarn held in your hand, pin it down, and then wrap your yarn around your fingers like so, and cross it over itself in the front to create that X. And we're going to flip our hand over, bringing that yarn with you and pinning it down between your ring finger and your middle finger. Bring in your crochet hook and slide that hook under the first strand and over the second. Then we're going to pull that second strand out from under the first one. And then we're going to transfer everything off of your fingers and onto the hook. Then grab your yarn or your working yarn that's still attached to the ball of yarn. And then you're going to pull that tight until the slip knot is snug against your hook. And now we're ready to bring in our swatch and do our join. So now that we've got our slip knot on our hook, because we're doing a double crochet, we need to do a yarn over first. So we've got our hook here, we're going to yarn over, and then we're going to use our finger to hold down that slip knot and that yarn over. You don't want them to be twisting around because then you'll use your, lose your yarn over here. So I'm going to insert my hook in the place where I need to do my join. So let's just say I want to place my join right here in this stitch. And so holding that yarn over and that slip knot on your hook, you're going to insert your hook into the place you need to join your yarn. Then we're going to yarn over and pull up a loop. I'm still holding down that yarn over and the slip knot so they don't twist around on me. At this point, you can hold down the tail that you started with, which will also help keep them from twisting around. You can see we've got three loops on our hook. Then we're going to yarn over hook and pull through all or the first two loops on our hook. So that's two loops left on our hook. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through the last two loops. And that is your standing double crochet. And again, you've now eliminated the need for a chain three or chain two, depending on your pattern, as well as a slip knot, which can bulk that up. So I'll show you how to do that one more time. Let me undo this here for us. I've got my slip knot on my hook, and then I'm going to yarn over hook and use my finger to hold the yarn over and the slip knot in place. Right. Then I'm going to insert my hook where I want to join my yarn. And again, we're still holding on to that slip knot and yarn over. Then we're going to yarn over hook and pull up a loop. You should have three loops on your hook at this point. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Right. You should still have two loops on your hook. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through the last two loops. And that is your standing double crochet. And you might also see this called a double crochet join. Now, if you wanted to use this as a joining stitch to say seam two pieces together, I'll show you how to do that now. Where let's just fold my swatch in half. And after lining up my stitches, so that way they um, line up with each other, I'm going to do my join. So I've got my slip knot yarning over my hook, holding those in place with my finger. And then I'm going to insert those that hook 
through the stitch I need to join on the first piece of fabric and then the stitch that lines up with that on the second piece of fabric. So I'm working through both thicknesses here because I want to join them together. So now I'm going to grab that yarn again, still holding on to that yarn over and slip knot. Yarn over. Oops, see what happens when you let it go? It just twists around on you. <laughs> so I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop through both pieces of fabric. Then I'm going to yarn over and pull through the first two loops two loops remaining and then yarning over and pulling through the last two. And then if you wanted to continue in your double crochet, you would just continue to work through both sets of stitches and double crochet along as normal. Let me show you that. So just like this. All right, so that's how you do the standing double crochet or the double crochet join. I hope that you found this helpful. If you did, please hit this that like button and please consider subscribing to this channel. If you have any questions or comments, I would absolutely love to hear from you. Please leave those in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you enjoy free crochet patterns, which I know that you do, make sure that you head on over to my blog, theloopylam.com. Thanks so much for watching, friends. Happy hooking, and I'll see you next time.